the long hot summer so the summer of 1990 was a long hot summer <laughs> uh, long in that um, there was a lot of fun in it and then some traumas I mentioned before um, the attack on the car um, smashing of the windshield and then driving around in a car with without uh, visibility right and then having the police overnight uh, diminish whatever the visibility we had because they decided the idiots to put some posters on the on the windshield uh, we don't park here but we had to park somewhere uh, where the chances of having the car taken away I mean uh, the, the windshield pressed uh, burglars uh, getting into it and then stealing it all together in fact the car was stolen had been stolen I also mentioned that and the police wouldn't uh, investigate because it was taken from the mechanic and they said you have to sue them because you left the car there we don't care he, he the son of the mechanic ran away with it you left it it wasn't we could say uh, you gave it to him something like that anyway with a bribe they looked into it and eventually found it. in other words there was enthusiasm ecstasy nirvana uh, climax zenith but there were also some some uh, shortcomings in the big picture these were just uh, in many ways small uh, calamities <laughs> some of them uh, but uh, maybe there just to have us appreciate more uh, the tea is boiling so let me not forget about that let me not to the marriage of two minds admit impediments Love is not love, which alters when it alteration finds. Uh, there's no connection there, but why not? So, um, there was another thing which uh, proved uh, to be a sort of a nadir, a low point. But then it was the occasion for a major high point, a zenith, which in turn descending into a low, low, extreme depression. Uh, just like in that story that I probably mentioned, I keep referring to it in writing, um, on the blog, with a Zen master told by Philip Seymour Hoffman, late regretted great actor, his character, actually, in Charlie Wilson's War. So he says about this, uh, he tells about this uh, a Chinese uh, man who has a horse that runs away. The people from the community come and say, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm your horse runner. We shall see. Indeed, the horse returns with a pack of wild horses. The villagers are happy for him. Oh, so you have now some... <laughs> So many more horses. You had one, and we shall see. As his son is trying to tame one of those horses, he, he's thrown uh, down, and he breaks his leg. Again, they are sorry for him, and the same light motif, the mantra. We shall see. He's right because. Army recruiters come to the area and they take many. Not the son who has a broken leg, so he's not no use for them to serve in the army. And it's like that, we should see. In other words, yes, there was a, <laughs> a, a potential for some money in this scheme I will tell you about, but then 
it turns out to be a potential major loss. And that thing gave way to something brilliant for a while, which turned into a nightmare at uh, a later stage. So, uh, in terms of money, um, there was a busy, uh, overwhelming, in fact, period. Uh, winter, spring, beginning of summer, uh, 1990. Journalists, some tours, um, and some business, uh, some lucrative, some not so much. Um, trying to, I mentioned, bring things from Germany, Austria, at one point some, something from Turkey, from Istanbul. But at one point, um, the, these things, uh, the, if they didn't dry up, they didn't show so much potential. Anyway, there was a question of trying to see more, to find more solutions, to find something to to make money. So, and I can't remember the details, they're not important anyway. Uh, but there was a um, an ant, there were a few ants in a newspaper. And one said, uh, I need money, something like that. Uh, as a loan, and I have a business project for which I need this money. And I will give uh, as interest something very, very attractive. 50% uh, 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 100% in a month. So I contacted the guy uh, with Adrian. I, and he said, um, yeah, I have this uh, thing I need this money for, and I buy this. He didn't tell me because you don't sell this idea just like that, but the broad outline. And uh, I will sell it and I will make a profit of a few times more. <laughs>